The Apogee 2 300 has two probe ports, so you can have your cardiac and abdominal or your microconvex and linear probes plugged in simultaneously. It's really easy to attach and detach your probes. Simply put it in the probe socket and secure. When starting this machine for the very first time, there are a couple of things you might want to do to get started. Press the setup key and move over to system setup and press set. Set is like your enter key. Here, you can put your hospital or practice name. You can choose whether or not you want to turn your screensaver on and you can set your date and time and your region. Once you're happy with this, go over to OK and press set. If you're going to be recording long video clips for teaching or video cases, there's one other thing you'll want to do. Press the Save As button. And in this drop down here, select what you would like your hotkey to be for recording long video clips. I like F1 just because it's nice and easy up here, so I've selected F1. DVR will already be selected, and now you just need to go down here to DVR record time and set how long you would like your long recordings to be. I want mine to be very long, so I just add a zero at the end, 600 seconds. It's very unlikely I'll ever get to that length. I'll probably end up freezing or pressing F1 again to stop my recording long before I reach that time. Once you've done that, go to exit and set, and your machine will now be set up. To begin a new examination, press the exam key and select what kind of examination you want to perform. I'm going to start with an abdominal examination, so I'm going to go to pet abdomen and press set. If you want to enter patient information, press the ID button. You can untick the auto ID if you want to type in your own hospital ID numbers or practice ID numbers. Otherwise you can leave that ticked and it will auto generate an ID for you. And this is where you can put in as much information as you like. If you're not seeing an image when you start scanning, remember you need to unfreeze your image. I'm scanning under bright lights here, of course you're going to be scanning in a darkened room. And everything with this machine is pretty much one touch. So if you want to adjust your focal point, it's your tracker pad here, just move it up and down. If you want to get hold of your mouse, press set, that will deactivate your focal point and give you control of your mouse. You can then press set again to go back to setting your mouse as your focal point. Depth is adjusted here. If you press it once, it will now turn to frequency. So I'm increasing my frequency up to 10.5 megahertz in my harmonics. And now I've turned harmonics off. So with this machine, there's not a separate THI button. It's all on the frequency button. So once you go past the highest of the fundamental frequencies, harmonics will just automatically toggle on, which is the H in front. And in this particular instance, tissue harmonic imaging is helping my image. To turn your color Doppler on, you'll press the C button. Color Doppler can be very useful to guiding your pulse wave Doppler placement. So press PW. Line your gate overflow, press PW again. If the sound is too noisy for your patients, hold down the FN key and click minus and that will turn off the sound. To access saved pictures once you've finished your exam, press the Smarchive button. And there you'll see a list of your examinations you can move over, double click with set, and the easiest way to export is just to press select all and send.